Hey, Viola Rolls here. Welcome back to Professor Layton and Inspector's Call. So we're at the police station. So let's go ahead and head inside. Nobody gets in without the chief say so. Move along now. Oh, really? Well, we have rather urgent business here with the chief, so let us in now. Uh, all right, hold your horses. Why didn't you just say so in the first place? Crikey. Well, that was easy. Right, all right, go on in then. Yes? Welcome to Miss Hallery Police Station. My name is Herschel Layton, and I, I am investigating the Spectre by request of the mayor. I need to take a look at some of your records. Well, Chief's out investigating the Spectre as well, and we don't let the public in without his permission. Sorry, it's official police policy. Can't show you a thing until he gets back. We send copies to Scotland Yard every year, though. If you need something, why not look there? That's quite a way to go. When do you expect the Chief to be back? Hard to say, really. Could be as few as five hours, could be as many as ten. Yes, I see. Thank you. You've been very helpful. This is a problem. We aren't getting any help here, and it looks as if the Chief won't be back anytime soon. And this is pure conjecture, but even when the Chief does return, he may not show us the records without a solid connection between Bard's death and the Spectre. Good point. We'd probably be better off going all the way to Scotland Yard and looking there ourselves. <laughs> That's not happening. Come to think of it, why not? I'll go back to London and search for the files in their archives. But Emmy, I doubt Scotland Yard will just grant you access to their files either. I don't think you quite know who you're dealing with, Professor. I've got connections. Besides, I can't handle waiting around for ten hours. You two go on. I'll be back when I have the files. This is what an assistant is for, right? Well, if you're sure. I would be grateful, Emmy. In that case, Luke and I shall continue our investigation here. If you don't mind, could you drop by the university to pick up the recent newspapers in my research file? It's the one with the latest date on it. It shouldn't be too hard to find. Research file and newspapers. Will do. Emmy, wait! We need to arrange a place to meet when you return. Oh, right. Good idea. That's why you're the professor. Did you have somewhere in mind? Let's meet at the library. We can pursue the documents at our leisure there. The library. Got it. I'll be back in a flash. You'll never even know I was gone, Professor. Sure thing. Wow, look at her go. I bet she'll be back in no time at all. I hope she drives safely. Yes, I would like to save. Thank you. Um, let's save here. Okay, so... Chapter 6. Secrets Hidden in London. Oh, so we're following Emmy back. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. I made pretty good time. Now to do that, now to grab that research file the professor wanted. Where would the professor keep his files? In his office? Obviously. Oh, oh thank you. I was really struggling. Oh, it's Delmona. Aha, Miss Emmy Altava. I've been looking for you. Dean Delmona. I was worried that something happened to you. Oh, no. Actually, Professor Leighton was already in the middle of an investigation when I found him. So I accompanied him out of town. In fact, I'm only back now to get some documents for him. I see. Splendid. Leighton is not in London at the moment, then. No, I'm sorry. We had to leave without informing you. No, no, that's quite all right. He was supposed to be taking some time off anyway. I expect he'll produce an excellent paper when he gets back, too. If you're after Leighton's office, it's halfway down the corridor. Check the names on the doors. Thank you, sir. By the way, Emmy, if you're not in too much of a rush, could I borrow you for a moment? Of course. How can I help? Well, you see, there's this puzzle I'm having trouble with. My little granddaughter challenged me to solve it, but I'm at my wit's end. I can't give up, though. What would the little one think of me? Don't worry, Dean. I'll help you crack it. Yeah, this happened last time. His granddaughter gave him a puzzle, and he couldn't solve it, so he asked us to. 
tricky tomes. Here's a bookshelf crammed with thick, heavy encyclopedias arranged as shown. All the books have the same depth and they fit perfectly into the shelf. There's always one book that nobody takes from the shelf first, no matter who is browsing the shelf. Which book is it? Touch it to give your answer. Hmm. There's always one book that, no matter what, nobody takes from the shelf first. Hmm. Is there a way to, like, look at the books? No. Okay, so I just have to use deductive reasoning. Well... Obviously, five gets picked a lot. It's in the middle. And if I was looking at a shelf of books, I'd probably go for the middle one first. Um, let's see. Hmm. This one would dry, would get attention because it's thick. So all the thick ones would definitely get attention. So eight, five, three, and one are rolled out here. Four is also sort of towards the middle, I feel. Um, so. I think it probably seven. Instead of thinking about it from position, I still think everything I said before was correct. Let's see. If I wanted to take one from the shelf, yeah, I'd be able to grab it because I, there's a space here. I'd be able to grab two easily. Three, I can pinch and take off. Four, I can drag off because of the space at the top. Five, same deal. Six can also be taken. Seven can be taken with some difficulty, but you can get it out. Oh, it's eight. Because there's no space around the eighth book, so you'd have to take out book seven to even be able to take book eight. I'll handle this one, Professor. You can't let a puzzle intimidate you. Yeah, we know. You said not to drop it down earlier. Right. Encyclopedia. Okay. Encyclopedia A's. Encyclopedia number eight is the only book that cannot be taken out first. There's no way to get it out without removing another book first. Ooh, new action for the puppet theater. Flatten. Aha, uh -huh, I see you're going to prove it. a worthy assistant to Layton. Keep up the good work, Emmy. Leave it to me, sir. Professor Layton is in good hands. <laughs> All right, then. Carry on. I actually want to check my puzzle index real quick. I feel like I'm missing puzzles, am I? Yep, I'm missing 51 and 52. Um, hopefully I can get those when I go back um, to meet up with Layton and Luke. Oh, hello. The professor left yesterday in a rush. I haven't seen him since. I know that. Who are you? And why are you in the professor's office? I could ask you the same thing. I'm on the cleaning staff here. My name is Rosa. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm the professor's new assistant, Emmy Altava. A pleasure to meet you, Rosa. Likewise. So you're the professor's assistant? Hmm, I wonder if that's why Dean Del Mono was looking for him. The professor asked me to fetch some research of his. <laughs> It'll be a miracle if you can find it. Keeping his office tidy is the one puzzle he can't work out. What is it you're looking for? I'll see if I can lend a hand. Well, he asked me to pick up his latest research file in any recent newspapers lying around. Research file in newspapers? Alright, well, let's have a look. And of course, there are hit coins to be had. Oh, apparently I found a puzzle. So this is the professor's desk? Hmm, what a lot of stuff. What's this, a puzzle? Puzzle 54, it's in the bag. 45 pick routes, oh geez. To appease dear Rosa, I applied myself to a spot of spring cleaning today. I must say it proved rather fortuitous. In a dusty corner of the room, I discovered an old bag containing a forgotten treasure. See if you can work out what I found by rearranging the three pieces making up the shape of the bag. Be sure to place the finished article on the table next to where the bag was. Okay, so we have to take 
the shape of a bag and fill in this entire square. So let's put this here. It's this here. Oh, I see. We have to make the shape of what he found using these pieces. Oh, yeah. Okay, wow. Uh, I can see why this one's a 45 picker out one. This one's tough. Oh, I can flip them. Oh, that makes it so much easier. I knew it was going to be a top hat. That puzzle was no problem. Correct. Professor Lane simply wouldn't look like himself without his top hat. Does Professor just keep the puzzles handy in case he has unexpected guests? I suppose I can't be surprised by things like this, especially if I'm going to be his assistant. Ha! Huh, no sneakily placed or wearing puzzle will faze me now. Here they are, research file and newspapers all together, sorted. Of. You found them, good for you. I honestly don't know how you can work in such a pig sky. Thanks for your help, Rosa. I had better get these back to the professor. So you had. Make sure he looks after himself, won't you? Hmm, and there's the last hint coin. Okay, see you, Rosa. I got the professor's things, so now it's off to Scotland Yard to find those records. With Inspector Grosky's help, I should be able to get access to what I need, I think. I hope Grosky's there, though. Scooter, don't fail me now. Let's go. All set. I should get going. Okay, here we are at Scotland Yard. Now to find the inspector for the records I need. A new episode has been added to the trunk, Emmy's memory. Ooh, okay. I'll look at that um, in a second after I find the hint coins on the screen. Oh, there it is. Okay, let's check out the episode I just picked up. Ooh, wow, I'm missing a few episodes actually. Let's go ahead and watch this. Here's the story of how a young girl wrongly accused met the gentleman who came to her rescue. Ooh. Has it really been six years? The professor has forgotten, but just coming here brings it all back. But I didn't do anything! You and the rest of the pickpocket scum in this city are finished! He says it was you! Are you calling him a liar? No, of course not! Ugh. She stole the wallet that was in my pocket. Liar! This is ridiculous! I'm so telling you, you this child is confusing me with someone else. Oh, that old one. Is that right, son? You just confused? She did it. Shut it! Oh, hello, uh, Might I be of help? Ah, wait, good timing. Look, that vile miscreant swiped this poor boy's wall. Is that so? Hmm. Constable, would you mind giving me the details of the case? Eh? Well, I don't see why not. While strolling down the street, this young man noticed that his wallet was missing. He immediately got a bad feeling about the girl he had just passed and told a nearby police officer. The officer checked the contents of her bag, and sure enough, there was a stolen wallet. See? Pretty clear cut, isn't it? I think I have a good grasp of the situation. May I see the stolen wall? Huh, <laughs> I see. What? I'd just like to confirm something. This wallet is not yours, is it, young man? Huh? If I were to guess, I would say this is your mother's purse. It's definitely a lady's style. Most likely, you were sent on an errand by your mother and entrusted with her purse. However, you spotted a pair of expensive trainers that you had a, had your eye on for some time. Thereupon, you bought them with the money in your mother's purse. 
You then had to find a way to make it seem as though the money had been stolen. Am I correct? Wow, he's good. <laughs> uh, er, no, that's not true. In order to place the blame on someone else, you planted the empty purse in this young lady's bag. Isn't that right? But, Leighton, where's your proof? I'll explain in a moment. Come now, no more fibs, please. You'll have to start behaving like a gentleman one day, you know. But, but, everyone else has them. It's not fair. I just wanted them so much. But to get them by telling lies and tricking everyone. Will you ever be able to wear the shoes with pride? Judging by the look of those trainers, you play football, isn't that right? So you should know that shoes don't make a good football player. Only diligent training does. Yes, yes, you're right. I'm sorry. Alright, come with me. I will help you return those shoes. Really? Of course. Hold on a second there, Leighton. How did you know the boy was lying? It's quite simple, Constable. I noticed his legs were shaking. It was almost as though he was the one who had been caught in the act. Furthermore, his shoes were brand new and the wallet contained only a few pennies. It certainly wasn't enough to run any errands with. Once I put all that together, I came to the only possible conclusion. I hope to never see you here again. Maybe you could take up etymology. <gasps> Wait! What etymology is. Thank you so much. No need to thank me, miss. Helping a young lady like you <gasps> is the duty of every gentleman. Have a lovely day. Hmm. He called me a lady. Yes, he did. Wait! Uh, come back here! What's your name? That miss is Herschel Layton. Don't let the hat fool you. That is a man of powerful intellect. Well, he helps us out from time to time that with is our his identity. You know, uh, pickpockets and whatnot. Herschel Layton. I remember that. And now I've finally become the professor's assistant. I have to do my best to help him. Just leave it to me, Professor. I'll get you the documents you need. That was amazing. Okay. So that's how she knew him before this whole thing. Well, I'm gonna hold off going into Scotland Yard until the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, and we'll talk to you guys next time.